Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the scrape brush tool. I'll be using that tool here and then just, uh, you know, sculpt on, on the surface and you should be able to see things are becoming more flat there. Okay. Uh, it is like a refined version of uh, the flatten brush tool. Uh, the main idea of this brush is, let's say you have uh, some bump or cavity on, on the surface, okay, uh, with different levels. And uh, in traditional sculpting or uh, when you do the carpenter work, uh, you have to file things which are not uh, equal to the surface then it's like filing that surface and you could see you're grinding this off and removing that surface from the ground so scraping is all about that so whenever you got some uneven lines just click and drag and then you should be able to see that lines are becoming more soft okay this can be used in hard surface modeling a lot uh, i would also recommend you to check with this option here in the advanced section that is uh, enable the normal and the plane and then when you just click and drag it it defines a particular plane and then it scrapes over that area only so it can be useful in some scenarios where you have to uh, limit yourself with the size and you don't want to cross that so this can be of great help at that time okay so what's happening here is uh, if i don't use these two options the scrape tool is uh, you know applying through the uh, planes uh, of the sphere i mean when I'm clicking here, it's flattening there. When I'm clicking here, it's flattening, it's flattening, flattening. So it is updating every time the brush is running over the model. But when I enable these options, it will only take the first click point, okay? First click point there and the normal of that plane and uh, the plane is defined here and it will only scrape that area. And then you need to, you know, uh, change the uh, stroke time. I mean, uh, you need to release your mouse click and then again, you need to do it. And it's not uh, doing more than that because the plane has ended up there itself. Okay, so you can just uh, explore this option to get that stylized uh, uh, sculpture for, you know, maybe stop motion or something like that. And you want that facetted effect, you go ahead and use it. We have this option called area radius here. Uh, area radius is 0 0.5. It is a ratio between the brush size and the area it, it is going to affect. So when I just click and drag, you should be able to see it is affecting a small point there. But if I increase the radius there, the, the area of impact is higher at this point. As I keep increasing that, it, it impacts the bigger area in relation with the brush size. So if I change the brush size, again, it affects to the brush size only. Uh, let, let's explore this option called invert to fill. Uh, it is uh, a fill uh, and scrape are almost the uh, same brushes, but you need to use it in opposite uh, direction. For example, when I'm, uh, let's say I take a brush here and then ho make a hole there. Okay. To actually fill that hole, I need to use the fill brush. Okay. And then start filling that. And uh, after several strokes, that uh, hole will be filled. Okay. So I'll be taking the higher strength. And you should be able to see that hole is no more there. So when I generally do, if I want this uh, fill brush in the scrape, then make sure that this option is on and just hold control and then start filling that and then the hole is filled. So this option is there in fill also. So when I'm using the fill, I can make it work like a scrape tool by holding control. And when I'm in the scrape, I can hold control to make it as a fill. So it's the same tool almost. I've covered these options of plane offset and trim. You can check my fill video uh, in, in the playlist. Okay.